All right, HQ postgame rolls on as we look to break this one down with our guys, Tyler Sullivan, Rick Spielman in the mix. Gentlemen, impressive stuff here from the Dolphins and Tua Tagovailoa once again. Uh, Rick, coming into the year, this was a prove-it year for Tua, and now it has had its ebbs and flows due to injury, but the proof is in the pudding. When he's out there, they're winning. From the front office standpoint, you've made these decisions before in the past. What's Tua putting on tape for this front office to look at? is they got Tyreek Hill mm. so that makes a huge that difference helps. and when you have the ability to throw to Tyreek Hill uh, Waddle who was the uh, led all the rookies in, in the NFL in receptions last year you have a chance to be a pretty pretty good quarterback and when I was down there in training camp and watched him move around and watched him function in his office and you got to give Mike McDaniel credit he knows what he does best he has weapons all around him and he's taking advantage of them so when he's healthy and on the field uh, that offense is pretty unstoppable. Yeah, it really shouldn't be a surprise of what we've seen from Tua so far because the Dolphins have finally started to build around him and his skill sets, like you guys were just saying, obviously hiring an offensive-minded head coach and Mike McDaniel, bringing in the likes of Tyreek Hill, developing Jalen Waddle, bringing back Mike Gesicki. All of those things are going to contribute to the development of your quarterback. And so when we see Tua finally blossoming, and we've seen even spurts of this earlier in his career as we're still questioning whether or not he could be a franchise guy, now we're seeing it on a more consistent basis because there are pieces around him now that are changing things. I mean, you just showed the Eagles highlight there as well. I do think that there's something to be said for the addition of these legitimate number one wide receivers. You see it in Philadelphia with A.J. Brown. You're seeing it in Miami with Tyreek Hill. They're changing the way defenses are playing this offense, and it's making life easier for the quarterback. There is a safety outlet. There is a somebody that if everything goes wrong, you can just chuck it up like Tua Tunga Villoa did, and he knows that Tyreek Hill can come down with it. When you match that with a guy like Jalen Waddell, two of the fastest wide receivers in the NFL, you're not asking the quarterback to do too much. There can be just a lot, lot of yards after the catch. You can just see a guy streaking down the field. It changes the entire offense. You're not putting too much weight onto a tongue of Iloa's shoulders here. So not only is he performing under this circumstance, but the team is finally putting pieces around him to make life that much easier. So it's good to see Tua kind of blossoming here. And I, and I do think that now you're looking at it saying, this is a guy that you can build an organization around. And there was questions of that going into the year. I think he's answered that swimmingly, even though there have, like you said, has been some ups and downs due to injury. Yeah, and impressively, there's been no flinch in him, uh, no balk since that injury that we saw him carted off the field with, came back and has performed with a whole lot of confidence once again. I mean, yes, Tyreek helps, Waddle helps, but the decision-making was also an issue with Tua in years past. Mike McDaniel might be painting a clearer picture for him. Uh, you hear him even say that he, he knows how to slide now. Tyler, as you take a look at this maturation, just how much of that do you award to Mike McDaniel and what a job that he's done so often with these young head coaches. We want to point the figure, finger, that is, uh, and chastise when things go wrong, but I think Mike McDaniel deserves some flowers here at this point in the season. Yeah, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, it's it's so tough right now because there's so many good head coaches that you're trying to identify, all right, who could be a coach of the year? Mike McDaniel might not be getting that much love for it, but he should. He has the Dolphins in position to make the playoffs, five and three on the season. And you have, like we were saying earlier, the right. development of Tua Tunga Vailoa. To me, that's the biggest thing that we've seen so far. So, yes, all of the stuff that you put in him in, in right situations, yeah, all of that is credit to Tua for performing in those circumstances, getting the ball to all those pass catchers. But you also, like you said, give your flowers, give your roses, give the whole bouquet to Mike <laughs> McDaniel as well. He is legitimately pulling the strings and making life easier for Tua to develop. Yeah, and just to follow up on Mike, I mean, he reminds me of Bill Nye, the science guy, on how he comes up with offensive <laughs> schemes and how he's getting the ball into the playmaker's hands. The other thing you have to give credit to Mike about is, one, he was kind of a out-of-the-box type hire. I don't know if he was, like, the top name mm -hmm. mentioned when, uh, co when teams were going out and looking for head coaches, but he's such a unique strategi uh, strategic thinker. And the other thing that I thought was really impressive is, how many times have they been down 14 points in a game, yet he keeps that team together, keeps them believing, 
and they yet come back and win in those circumstances. Yeah, impressive uh, throughout the circumstance here. Impressive job done by the quarterback and by the head coach as we take a look at the numbers that it bore out. And you got to think, too, Mike McDaniels coming from San Francisco, run game coordinator, had his fingers on that offense that was really run to open up the pass. And looks like air raid right now in the MIA as they will take on the Bears next week. But as for this one, Tua Tagovailoa, 34 fantasy points. Uh, Lions share that going to Tyreek Hill, a buck 88 for 30 fantasy points. Now, Jalen Waddle got you north of 100 as well. Had two house calls. Tariq's none. So it's 30, however you want to break it down. Plenty more coming on HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.